We're having a conversation today with a New York Times bestselling author of six novels. Her first book, Backroads, was an Oprah book club pick and a book of the month main selection. Tawny O'Dell is a fan favorite for her character's development in her family dramas and thrillers. Uh, disclosure here, her most recent books, One of Us and Angels Burning, are published by Simon & Schuster, which is owned by our parent company, CBS Corporation. O'Dell felt compelled to stop writing fiction after her daughter was raped. She wrote a memoir. It's now an off-Broadway play opening October 13th. She plays herself, a mother, getting a dreaded call that her child's been attacked. That phone call happened to me. Everything you're going to see on the stage tonight happened to me, to my daughter, to my son. The theatrical memoir is called When It Happens to You. It's on stage now at the Sheen Center for Thought and Culture in the East Village. And Tony O'Dell is joining us right now talking about this uh, courageous endeavor, courageous in so many ways. Thank you for being here. Well, thank you for having me. Title, let's go straight from the start. On the title is just so relatable. Well, yeah, I mean, this is something that can happen to anyone. It mm -hmm. can happen to anyone's daughter. And and until you get that 3 a.m. phone call, uh, you don't know what it's going to do to your life. And this memoir came out of trying to find a way to help my daughter recover and help myself. Mm -hmm. Because as a mother, you don't realize how the, the ripple effects of something like this, how it, it touches everyone in the family, mm -hmm. everyone she she loves, her friends and family. And um, so that's where this sort of came out of. Nearly six years ago, she lived in a New York City apartment, um, you, you know, moving forward in her dreams. Yes. And um, so how did you, first of all, just in approaching her, um, was it okay? It had to be okay. You wouldn't be doing this. Oh, most definitely. I would never have done this without her approval. And we had come to a point, both of us, where our lives were just in a shambles. And I had to find a way to like help her other than just being a sounding board for her all the time. So I wrote this memoir. I thought maybe if she could see herself as a character in this story, and I could see it too myself, we would be able to look at it differently. She could see what a courageous person she's been. We're looking at some video of the play, Tawny. Um, let's talk about how it is staged, who's in the play with mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. As again, you play yourself. Yes, I play myself. Um, Kelly Swint. Uh, fantastic young actress plays my daughter Tirsa. Um, Connor Lawrence plays my son Connor. So I have two Connors oh, in my life right now. And E. Clayton Cornelius plays multiple roles. As a, a writer of fiction, I'm just wondering about that going back and forth. What was that like? Well, it was it was very difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I write fiction because I like to make up everything, and uh, to write about myself and my daughter, and of course this horrific thing, was very difficult. Um, but at the same time, I really felt this this need to do it. it it's like I I can't explain it other than that. Once I started doing it, the words just came flowed out of me. Yeah. I saw the play. Uh, Kelly Swint plays your daughter mm -hmm. um, and, and just really the emotions, the tears yeah, in her amazing. eyes yeah. are just really uh, so relatable again. Uh, and talking about her pain, her determination, we see her defense mechanisms. And right now, let's look at a scene. Do you ever talk about it with anyone besides mom? No. It, it might help. Yeah. Help how? How's it going to help? You don't understand. I can't tell anyone. Once I do, nothing else will matter about me. All anyone will ever see when they look at me is a girl who got raped. Tony, these words are from your daughter's mouth, yes. these conversations. Yes, um, yes, exactly. Um, these conversations, the, the, the arguments, the fight we have, the deterioration of our relationship. It's, it's all like words right out of her mouth and my mouth. Did your daughter, has, has she seen it? No, as a matter of fact, she is coming on opening night along with her brother and all my family, friends to support her. Mm. Um, you know, we've talked about it a lot. She has read the play, and she has read the memoir, and she knows what's what's what it's about. And she's decided that she feels that this can help other victims, and that's why she's doing it. That's also why she went to court and put this man, her rapist, in jail. 
afterwards she said to me, you know, Mom, I, I, when I have like really bad days I, about this, I think to myself, well, at least that guy, that guy, I might have prevented some woman from being attacked and that made her feel better. She's very generous that way and so this is what's kind of leading her to, to speak out. That's what I wondered. How is she doing? And You know, she, she on the surface, she's one of these like highly functioning people. <laughs> you know, she's a very talented young chef. Um, you know, she, uh, on the surface, her life seems fine, but it's it's the emotional carnage that this does to someone. She still is struggling with all this. It's been almost six years at this point, and it's it's very tragic. And understandable. Yes, and very understandable. You put this together with Tony-nominated director Lynn Taylor Corbett, mm -hmm. um, and the decision to have you, as you say very plainly, I am not an actress. No. <laughs> I am a writer. So was that, uh, whose idea was that, or was that part of the, uh, almost a catharsis? Yeah, it, that's, I, I would say, I mean, it was never any, uh, no one ever made a conscious decision. It was always like, of course, Tony's going to do this, because it's my story. I lived it, I wrote it, and part of the power of this of this uh, uh, production is that I am um, doing, I am telling you the story. It's not an actress, which kind of makes it, you know, something a little different from a traditional play. And I, and I think in many ways with the subject matter, yeah. th that it's a, that's a beneficial thing. So Beneficial to your family as well as people who've been through, who've been raped and their loved ones and, and just something to see it through in a shared environment. There's a lot of humor and love in this play. This is not just about this very I dark subject matter. I will attest to that. Yeah. That's true. Uh, it's true. So you hear the audience laughing and then you hear them crying. I hope that people will come out of it, um, you know, just just feeling th that they want to make contact with people that they love. Mm -hmm. You know, it's supposed to bring up empathy. Um, you know, for, for victims and just for for people in, in general. Tony O'Dell, thank you so much for being with well, us. Thank you. Really interesting to hear about this. And again, thank you for you and your daughter and son for sharing this very intimate, intimate uh, journey that you've been on for nearly six years. Thank you. You can see Tony O'Dell's play, When It Happens to You at the Sheen Center for Thought and Culture, 18 Bleecker Street, uh, East Village, and it is playing now through November 10th.